Welcome to a video tutorial on how to use the program Make MKV to make an MKV file from a Blu-ray. Make MKV is a free program that is still currently in beta, so it's free to use. The only caveat is you have to use, you need to update a beta code every month or so to keep it active, um, which can be found by simply Googling Make MKV beta code right here clicking on typically what is the first thing in the search and copying this into the program when prompted. I'm going to go ahead and launch the program. I've got an external USB Blu-ray drive. I'm going to pop a Blu-ray in right now. That'll find that. It'll spin up and it's going to take a few seconds until it is ready to read the disk itself. So give that um, however long it needs. Sometimes it's 30 seconds. Sometimes it's a couple few minutes. Cool, so we have the Blu-ray drive ready uh, to be read. So I'm just gonna click on the icon right here. I don't exactly know what's going on right now, but if I had to guess, it's breaking the encryption. Yeah, decrypting on uh, the Blu-ray drive itself here so that we have access to all of the files. So you're just going to want to let this run its course. Uh, this typically is very fast, uh, about a minute or so. So you really don't have to wait for too long. You're going to see a lot of text pop up like this, totally normal. And then this is the screen we're looking to get to. I am ripping one of my favorite movies, Good Time. First thing that I like to do right now is look at what my output folder is going to be. Um, you can save a default in here if that's easier for your workflow. Um, but for now, because I don't have an, an external drive plugged in, I am just going to put this on the desktop. Um, so that's going to create a new folder, typically with the name of the film itself, but sometimes it just says title 00. There are a lot of files to rip on this Blu-ray drive, as you can see. Um, a lot of these are redundant. And I think that is probably to combat exactly what I'm doing right now. So what I like to do to start off doing this is just right clicking the root of the disk and clicking unselect all so that I don't have to individually go through each and everything to unselect them. This one's kind of lucky. It tells you exactly what the feature film itself is on this. Then it has, you know, some like behind the scenes or director's commentary or trailers for other films, um, things like that. But Typically, for our purposes, we're only looking for the feature film of the drive. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to toggle down this drop down. You can see that I have several different options for what audio track I want to rip from this, and then also if I want to rip subtitles or not. What I end up doing always, too, is just unselecting all from this, because I'm really only going to select probably one thing. Um, for the purposes of cinematic viewing, we're going to specifically want um, the 5.1 master audio surround. I don't know that there's any difference between this surround track and this surround track, but I typically always try to go with what I'm assuming is the best quality. So high definition master audio surround 5.1 English, as opposed to just this surround 5.1 English. Uh, maybe this has more dynamic range or a higher bit rate. I don't know, but that's the one that I'm going to want to grab. Typically embedded in Blu-rays too, there's a stereo mix, which is great for home viewing, like if you're going to watch it on your TV, but 90% of the time we're going to be looking for the 5.1 since this is going to be viewing for the cinema. Um, that's really it, honestly. This is all you have to do to get your MKV file. I've set my output destination, I've grabbed the video file that I want and the audio file that I want. All I have to do right now is hit make MKV. And that's going to spool up the drive and start working. Uh, my output file is just going to be right on my desktop, goodtimet00.mkv. This can take anywhere from, if you're doing a Blu-ray, um, a 1920 by 1080 Blu-ray, it's probably about a half hour, I'd say. And DVDs are much quicker. So I'm not going to let you, or not going to make you sit through this. I'm just going to skip to the next part in a totally different video.